Is globalization failing everybody? Because extreme poverty in the 90s was 40% around the world, and now it's 10%. Uh, it's a tough question for liberals because yeah. sometimes things help poor people overseas and are not so good for the working class here in America. And we have to decide who do we love the most? People or Americans? Well, it's they... the Fourth of July. What's your answer? <laughs> <laughs> we love people around the world, and globalization is, is creating havoc uh, on people, not only here in America, but the world. But what about that world. stat I just read? Extreme poverty down 30%. Yeah, when you, but when you're looking at, at extreme poverty, you're looking at, uh, what, going from $1 an hour to $2 an hour. You That's double. Look at the quality of, yeah, but the quality of life, pathways into the middle class. If your salary sure doubled, would you like that? <laughs> Come on. If your salary We're doubled, talking. would you like that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> No, uh, no, and I think Bernie's absolutely correct. I mean, globalization and our trade policies have, have been, uh, have fomented what we are seeing around the world now in terms of income inequality, both in, in Britain and So you're for a trade war? I think he's factually wrong, to be honest with you. Brexit was actually about free trade outside of the European Union with the rest of the world. To give you one example, the European Union puts tariffs on sugar and chocolate imported from third world countries in order to favor France. That's protectionism, that's tariffs. I hear Trump talking about <laughs> protectionism, Bernie Sanders talking about protectionism, and I can't tell the difference. I think one of the bigger problems with Brexit, though, is it was sold for the poor in Britain, and there's no evidence this is going to help them that much. You had bus ads saying, we're going to put this money into health care. An intriguing idea, but as you know, the advocates then, the day after the vote, said, we weren't serious about that. No, they didn't say that at all. They did not say that at all. Are they the, going the to plan put is money in yes, to the health care system million, instead? A hundred million we're going to put into the health care system. And the ads were absolutely true. And again, you know, we have had the media elite saying workers shouldn't do this. And the fact is, it wasn't conservatives that took us out of the European Union. It was working people. Wales voted to leave the EU. The north of England Doesn't voted mean they're to leave right. The I, I'm just asking. I mean, it seems like people on both sides of the pond and in both parties are, are looking at global trade as the root of all evil. I, I mean, Donald Trump this week was talking about how Bernie Sanders, I don't agree with him on a lot of things, he's a horrible socialist, but somehow economically I agree with him exactly, which would make me not a socialist? Okay. Bill, Bill um, it's the root of many, many of our problems, though. When you're looking at, but, here in America, you're looking at uh, inequality Yes, our trade policies have created this huge gap, but also you have to look at the Bush era tax cuts, these wars that have been fought off budget, trillions of dollars. You have to look at the subprime yeah, okay. crisis. I mean, you sure, know, we have many, problems. many factors but, that but have sticking, created but sticking inequality to, here sticking in Sticking to this one, I, I just think that they are selling a lie this lie that the jobs can come back. The jobs are not going to ever come back. You know how we know? Because the factories have come back without the workers. You know who's doing the jobs? What? Robots, robots. People are always going to be employed. If it's not one type of employment, it's no, another not. type of employment. Well, yes, but not as much because robots do the jobs people used to do. And it's a lie to tell people that that's going to, that we can bring your job back.